Okay guys, so today I'm going to show you the easiest way to build a WordPress website. And for this, we are going to use Elementor Cloud. So Elementor Cloud, as you can glean from its name, is a cloud-based solution. So basically, instead of getting your own hosting, setting it up and configuring everything you usually need to on the server, here with Elementor Cloud, all is done for you and you'll be up and running in just a few clicks. So this is a really great solution for anyone seeking to build a website without needing any technical skills. But you know what? Let me show you. It's probably easier. And there it is, guys. As you can see, you get a hosted WordPress website instantly. So this is the beauty of this solution, you know. So let me scroll down a little bit and let me show you all these features. So basically, it's one fixed price, no hidden fee. So it's 99 US dollars a year. And I guarantee you, this is super good value. And I'm going to show you why now. So basically, this solution is hosted using Google Cloud's platform. So uh, this is the most reliable hosting company in the world. It's Google themselves. OK, and then you have a CDN by Cloudflare. So CDN, uh, it's Content Delivery Network which means that your website will load super fast anywhere in the world. So this is an added positive value again, and you get all the Elementor Pro features, free SSL certificate. So all these features here, normally you'd have to pay for them separately, you know? So Google Cloud Platform would cost you more than 99 US dollars a year alone. Uh, you have the CDN by Cloudflare. Cloudflare will charge you a fee as well, normally for this. SSL certificate, most hosting providers charge for that as well. And with this, including in that price, you get Elementor Pro features as well. So let me show you Elementor Pro alone. So the plugin, as you can see for one website, it's already 49 US dollars a year. So you can clearly see now why 99 US dollars is a great value for this service. So let's go ahead with this. So let's purchase this. And now we need to fill out our details and proceed to checkout. And there you go. As you can see, the purchase is now completed. So thank you for your purchase, David. And you have two different options here. You can go to your account or you can start creating your website. So either way is fine. So if I open my account, it will look something like this. So basically, this is just a summary of your account with your different website and so on. And you can click on this one here. So I'll create a new cloud website. Or you can click on this one here immediately. Either way will work fine. So let's click on creating a new website and we need to give it a name. So my website's name is, so again, don't worry, you can always change this afterwards, you know. So let's call this one the easiest way because this is the easiest way to build a website. So let's click next. And there it is. So this is the default address your visitors will reach your website to and you can purchase and add a domain later. So if you wanted to link your own domains or your domain name.com, you can always do this uh, later on. OK, so let's click next. And from here, you need to select what type of website you want to create. So let's design a business type of website. And again, the reason why they ask you this is because they can recommend web kits for you, you know, so next. And here they are basically. So they're suggesting three different web kits here that you can use to build your website. But for ourselves here, what we're going to do is just start from scratch. So I'll click on this one. I'd rather start from scratch. And as you can see, it is creating our website for us. So it's taking care of everything, setting everything up, and we don't have to worry about a single thing. And there you go. Tada! Your website is ready. So now, as you can see, check your emails for details about signing in. And now we can just go ahead with this. OK, so let's go. And as you can see here, we have a startup wizard. One click away, use this button to start creating. So we have opened the WordPress dashboard. We can edit with Elementor or manage this website. So let's click got it. No problem. And now if we hover on top, as you can see, we'll show these options again. So let's open the WordPress dashboard. OK, so as you can see, it's opening this in an extra tab, an additional tab. And there it is. So let me zoom in a little bit. So there you go. And this is the usual WordPress dashboard, basically. So this has been installed and configured for us, ready to go. And in just a few clicks, isn't that fantastic? So now we can start creating our website. And as you can see, by default, the site block mode will be on. So that means that no one can access your website unless you have admin privileges, which is great while you develop your website. Obviously, you know, you don't want anyone to access your website while it's not finished. So by default, they will install their own theme, which is hello. 
as you can see but we are going to install our own one which is astra so hello is not bad it's a very good theme don't get me wrong but it's for more advanced uh, users because you have to create everything from scratch basically whereas with astra you can uh, import demos immediately and you can tweak this around to make it your own which is much easier indeed so for this we're going to click add new and normally it should show up immediately here so this is astra so if it's not showing up on your page here just type in astra here in the search box and here it is again you know astra so basically if you hover on top you can see there's an install button so let's click on this very good and now we need to activate it so that's it our theme is installed now and now we can search for a demo content that we like so what we do now we click on theme details and astra options here at the bottom very good and as you can see we can use starter templates so basically these are i think about 180 beautiful website ready-made website that we can use and you can say whatever you want based on your industry your niche or your your, your type of business obviously you know so for this we need to click on install import a plugin click on this so there you go and now if we scroll down the page you can start building our own website so let's click on this build your own website and obviously we are going to use elementor because this is part of our theme here okay so let's click on this and as you can see you can search by keyword or you can search by type of industry local business personal care professional and so on and so on so so let's build something together so let's say for instance you're an accountant okay so how do you go about this well you go and look in business here or maybe professionals there you go you have an accountant here or you can look by by keyword as well so you can type accountant there it is and as you can see you have a few different options available right here so some of them are premium as you can see so these are paid versions so this is really up to you you can go ahead with this i think it's around 59 us dollars i think uh, for the uh, premium version of astra otherwise you can use any free theme it's all the same so let's say you have your choice set on either of those two and you're not too sure which one so all you have to do is just click on it and you'll have a quick preview here as you can see so this is your landing page so you can select one or the other so maybe you don't like this one that much so you can close this and then you can go back to the other one so let's have a quick look then and then you decide that this one looks absolutely perfect this is exactly what you need and now we can import the demo content okay so from here you can tweak things around immediately you can upload your logo etc etc but we're going to tweak this together afterwards so let's import the demo content first okay so let's click uh, skip and continue and you can select your color uh, scheme as well so as you can see by default it's blue and uh, dark colors of black and, and gray but if you want a more feminine look you could have it in purple or maybe more masculine maybe a greenish or something like this you know this is really up to you based on your company colors you might select one over uh, choose one over the other obviously you know so let's go ahead maybe with a purple one like this one okay and then you can even select your font so you have a quick preview here all you have to do is just click on them and you can see it's going to change the layout completely and the feel of your website so there you go as you can see this is totally different now so you might prefer this one or maybe this one so try a few different options until you find the right fit so maybe you like this one and say okay this is perfect for me and click continue so here you can fill out your details but you don't have to and then submit and build my website so this is going to take a few seconds to import the content and there you go guys you can see it is done so it's redirecting now and now that's it Ta-da! all done and dusted so what we can do now is just click on this go back to our wordpress dashboard and now if you hover on top you can see on our title here you have visit site right click on it open in a new tab and we can see our website immediately so there you go there it is so obviously the demo is imported without the images so we have to add them ourselves which is absolutely fine but the whole frame the whole structure of the website is already there and all we have to do now is tweak things around change the content and make it our own so let's do that together so for this we go back to our wordpress dashboard and we go to pages and right here you have your home page okay so there it is so these are all your pages about contact home etc etc so this is the home page this is the one we want to edit and as you can see if you hover on top you have all these different options edit quick edit trash view and edit with elementor so what we want to do because this was built using elementor is to click on edit with elementor okay 
There it is. So this is Elementor. So if you're new to Elementor, let me show you a little bit what it's all about. How does it work? So on this side here, we have all the different widgets. So basically, if you scroll down all the tools here, as you can see, you have all these different widgets. And what you can do basically is drag and drop them onto your page to create your uh, design, basically. OK, so this is basically how it works. Very simply drag and drop. So let me close the navigator here. So on this side, this is your preview and actually how your page will look like in the front end. So as you can see, if you hover on top, it will show different sections and areas. So the first one here, the blue one, this is the one all around it. This is a section. So if I click on this, as you can see, it says section. So this is one section and sections are made out of columns. You can see there's a gray uh, icon here. If I click on it, it says edit column. OK. And each column is made out of different elements. So uh, these are called widgets. OK, so if I click on this, this is a heading. If I click on this one, this is a heading as well. Let's try this one here. So this is a button and let's try those ones here. These are called icon list. OK, so this is basically how it works. And then if we scroll down the page, you can see if we click on this one, this is another section. So this is basically how Elementor works. You have sections made out of columns. Columns are made out of different elements, which are called widget. OK, so let's go ahead with tweaking this around. So how does this work now? Basically, if you wanted to change any section, all you have to do is hover on top and click on it. So as you can see at the moment, this one says Joyce Roberts. And we don't want this. We want Mr. Web Reviews. So there you go. And as you can see here, we have different options here at the bottom as well. So you can align this, you can have it centered, aligned to the right, or maybe equally justified. But let's keep it to the left at the moment. It's probably better. Now, clearly, this is a little bit too big, so we can tweak every aspect of every widget. OK, so for this, we go to style. So right here, you have the color as well. So you can change your font color, as you can see. OK, so let's keep it white anyways. And then the typography. So basically typography, it's a fancy word to say font. This is where you can customize everything related to the font itself. OK, so as you can see, you can select your font family here. You can make it thicker or thinner and you can change the size. So this is what we want to do here. Obviously, it's a bit too big. So let's reduce that slightly. So as you can see, you can have a visual a preview immediately which is very handy indeed so this is basically it so this is how you can change one of those items and then you can do the same with all the others so let me show you another one here for instance so if you click on this this one is called icon list so how does that work as you can see you have one two three different items and they're displayed here uh, lengthwise across uh, the section obviously you know but you can change the layout as you can see this one you can be uh, by default, uh, on top of each uh, stacked on top of each other, or in line. So in line is uh, it's basically across the whole width. So whichever way you prefer, again, you know. So you can tweak those items here. As you can see, this one says trusted, this one says experience, and this one says professional. So you can change this to whatever you want. So for instance, affordable, you know, or something like this. In which case, you might want to change the icon as well. So if you click on this. You might look for a dollar sign okay so let's go with this one or maybe this one here okay insert and there you go now we have a dollar sign next to the word affordable so this is how you can easily tweak this now if you wanted to add another item let's say a fourth one so add item so let's give it a name so whatever yeah, okay and then you can change the icon again so choose maybe i don't know let's say a chart by here okay so insert and there you go so this is how easily you can add or remove items so for removing an item basically click on the x and you will delete it all together okay and now again you can change everything here you can customize if you go to style you can change obviously the spacing in between them you can change the icon size you know you can make it bigger there you go you can even change the color so if you wanted the icon to be a different color maybe you want it to be a dark purple or something like this you know this is really up to you you can tweak everything based on your own preferences obviously you know so let's keep it like this why not this is fine as well now here we have an image as you can see it's not there so let's add an image so let's click on this and we can choose an image so i'm going to choose an image of myself so you do here is just click on select files and i have one here so let's open this and let me just hide myself so you can see behind so there's an insert media here so you can add a title you can uh, change the text here and add a caption and description so this will also help 
with uh, Google when someone starts for a specific keyword, for instance, accountant in Dublin, accountant in London, accountant in New York. If your image has all these keywords in them, you might show up in the Google images as well. So let's insert this now. And there is our image now. So as you can see, I forgot to mention this. Make sure that you select an image with a clear background, obviously, you know, so for a better results. So you can use maybe a PNG file or something like this. And then if you keep scrolling down the page, as you can see, you have all your different sections here. So again, this is the same principle, exactly the same. So if you wanted to change this, what I do, uh, what uh, we have to offer, for instance, you know, so this is really up to you based on your requirement, uh, business model, obviously, you know, so I'll click on this here again. This is just a text editor. All you have to do is just type in the content and the same here with the image. You can click on this, upload a new one. So let's select one here, uh, just maybe this one here. So insert, there you go. And we can do the same with this one. Let's add another one. And you can see we will we'll have a different feel immediately uh, once we have those pictures uh, uploaded. So let's do this one again together. There you go, taxes. And that's much better already. Now, let me show you a few more tips on how to use Elementor, okay? So basically from here, we have, as I've shown you, uh, we can change all the contents. All you have to do is click on it. Now, if you wanted to add something now, okay, all together, you can do so as well. And you can create new sections and add your own sections if you wanted to. So how can you add a section? As you can see, if you want to insert it basically underneath this one, go to the next section and click on the plus sign from this section. So click on the plus. And there you go, it's going to open up here. And now you can click on the plus again and add your own section. So let's say if you wanted a two column uh, section like this one, there it is. This is our new section. Now you can click on this and back to our widgets here. So if you wanted to add, let's say a heading and perhaps you want to add some text underneath, just like that, very good. And right here, maybe an image, okay? So let's go for an image or maybe a button. There you go. Let's add a button, call to action button. Okay. So basically once you have this, now you can click on your own section. You go to advanced and now we can add a bit of breathing space on top and bottom. And for this, we can use a padding here. So we could maybe add 50 all around and there you go. That looks much better immediately. Now this one, you might want to center it in the middle of your column. So what you do is click on the column itself and we have the vertical and horizontal align. So as you can see, this one by default will be on top. So you could have it in the middle and there you go. And the horizontal align is the same thing, basically, you know, so you could have this centered. OK, and this will be 100 percent in the middle all the time. Now, let's say if you wanted to get rid of a section, that's the other way around. So basically, all you have to do is to hover on the section itself and click on the X. And there you go. Now it's gone. Now, let's say you deleted something by mistake. How can you go back? So very easily here at the bottom, you can see there's a history. So if you click on this, we can go back. So as you can see, we just deleted that. You can go one step behind. So there you go. And now it is back exactly the way we had it before. So this is very, very convenient, isn't it? So let's delete this anyways. Now we have another feature uh, that I'd like to show you as well. If you can move things around, obviously, you know, so if you just drag something, you can move it. So as you can see, here, I can drag it on top. There you go. I can do it the other way around. I can drag this on top instead. OK, and you can do the same with sections. So sections, basically, it's a bit harder because some of them are very big. So it's taking the whole space, the whole screen. So it's not easy to drag and drop from uh, from within the same space, obviously, you know. So for this, what you can do is use the navigator. So we have the navigator here. There it is. And if we close this very quickly, let me show you we have all these different sections. So if you click on this, it will bring you the, to the, the section in question. See if I click on this, it's bringing me back to the very first section. So you can move sections on your page as well. So all you have to do is use the navigator here. So I'm just grab this one. And I can move it around, you see, and I bring this at the bottom. There you go. So let's have a quick look now. So as you can see, those that were at the bottom now are on top and the other way around. So this is how you can move things around as well on your own page. OK, so let's put it back just the way it was because it looked better. Very good. So the navigator is another easy uh, way of moving around on your page. And obviously, one thing that's crucially important as well is not to forget to click update. So this is to save your work, basically. So as you work on your page, don't forget every few minutes 
to click update just to be on the safe side. Now, because this comes with Elementor Pro, there's something very interesting as well that you can do. If you click on the plus sign here to add a new category, like we a uh, new section, sorry, like we just did, you can also use templates. So if you click on this icon here in the middle, uh, Elementor comes with a pre-filled library so you can uh, import pages, full pages or blocks all together. So let's say if you're designing an, an about us page, okay, you go here and you have about, and these are all the blocks and sections that are related to an about us page. So you could select any of those sections to build your page and this will save you a lot of time, obviously, you know. So all the creative process is taken care of already, which is half the work done, basically, you know. So let's close this now. And one more feature, obviously, you want your website to be mobile friendly or for any devices, basically, you know. So you want to make sure that it looks good on tablets and also on mobile phones. So how can you do so? As you can see here with a, a, a responsive mode, uh, this one here, if you click on this, it will add this on top, okay? So at the moment, this is displaying for computers, desktop PC, laptops, and so on, so uh, white screens. Now, if you click on this, you can see it will resize that and show you what it looks like on a tablet, okay? So always make sure that it, it is displaying fine and everything is okay. And if not, you can always tweak things around to fit that specific device. So let's look on, on mobiles now. Okay, let's scroll back to the top again. So this looks very neat, as you can see, you know. So this is the title, the headline with the picture displaying, uh, what we have to offer, our services and so on. So this looks absolutely fine. Now, if you wanted to change anything here, so let's say you wanted to change the width or maybe the size of this font here. If you go to style, you will see you can select this for uh, mobiles only. So if I click on this, as you can see next to the size, you have mobile. So this will apply only for the mobile mode. So if you change the size here in mobile mode, it will not uh, apply in uh, for desktops or uh, tablets either, you know. So you could make this one maybe smaller on mobiles uh, to take just the full width like this. And this will only reflect for this type of device. And to come out from the mobile mode, you can click on this. And there you go. So we're back on desktop mode now. So basically, once you're done again, as I said, don't forget to click update. And then now we can go back to our WordPress dashboard. So for this, you click on the hamburger menu here. Exit to dashboard. And then all pages. So there you go. This is where all your pages will be. Now, let me show you how you can change your menu section. So basically here we have home, about, services, contact and get a quote. So let me show you how you can tweak this. So for this, we go to appearance, menus. And there it is, okay? So if you were to create your own page, uh, whatever it is, maybe uh, pricing or whatever, whatever, you know, how can you add your page to this section here? So as you can see, you have testimonials here. So all you have to do is tick that page, add to menu. There it is. And now you can re uh, reorganize this as well. So drag and drop. So if you wanted the testimonial to be after service, you can do so very easily. And you can delete some pages. All you have to do is click on this and then remove, but we're going to keep it for now, obviously, you know, and you can rename that page as well. So instead of about, maybe you want this to be about us. Okay, so that's it. Now, uh, let's click save. And then we can go back to our front end and let's refresh. And there you go. As you can see, now we have about us, services, testimonials as well, and contact. So this is how easily you can add any page that you've designed. Okay, so now let me show you how you can change this logo here. And for this, we go back to our WordPress dashboard. This time we go to customize. So appearance, customize. And right there we have site identity. There it is. And this is where you can upload your logo. Okay. So site and logo uh, settings. And at the moment we have Joyce Roberts. So this is not what we need. So we're going to change the logo. So you can delete it. So remove. As you can see, now it's gone. And now we can select our own logo. So select logo. And let's upload our own file. So let's select a file and I found an Elementor logo in white. So obviously, as you can see, our header is in purple. So we need a white uh, font, obviously. And now we can skip the cropping. Sorry, let me move myself again. As you can see, we skip cropping a crop image. So let's skip. And there you go. As you can see, our logo is right here. Now, obviously, depending on the color scheme that you can install on your website, you might need to have a black uh, font instead of a white one. But in this case, it's preferable to have a white one. Okay. 
Now, sometimes the image that we, you will upload will be too big, so you can change the logo width here. So as you can see, if you use uh, this slider here, you can make it bigger or smaller. So I wouldn't go either too small, so this would be too small. And this is too big, obviously. So you want a happy medium, you know. So normally, a good rule of thumb, it should be the same height as the rest of your content here. So this is just about perfect. Very good. And then you'd want to do the same in retina mode as well. So this is for higher resolution uh, devices. So Elementor's uh, logo, choose image. There it is. Now it's been added. And depending on the type of header that you have, you might go back here as well and do the same for the transparent header. So in this case, this is an actual transparent header. And as you can see, I've changed this as well. So you might have to do it as well. If it doesn't show in the front end, uh, come and change it here as well. So once you're happy enough, click publish. And now let's go back to our homepage. As you can see, we still have the old logo. So let's refresh. And there it is. As you can see, now we have our Elementor logo in our header section. So we've taken care of our homepage. We have the logo. We have the menu section. Now let's take care of our footer section. So there it is. So we're going to do this together now. So for this, we go back to our uh, WordPress dashboard. So we can exit out of this now. And for this, we're going to go to Elementor header and footer builder. And there it is, as you can see, we have two footers here. So which one is it? This one says entire website. So this is the one. And again, we can click on edit with Elementor. And there it is. So as you can see, that's the exact same. So we have the logo about, about a section, contact info, services, get in touch. And let's have a quick look. This is the exact same. So we can start uh, customizing this. So you click on this first. So let's upload our own logo. So we said Elementor, insert. There you go. You can change the text here yourself. So type something else. And then we have the contact info. So let's click on this. So as you can see, this is our title. Again, you just want to uh, type whatever you want. So instead of contact info, maybe contact us. Yep. And here you can change the address and everything. So again, this is an icon list. So we've discovered that uh, uh, before already. So basically here you have the icon and the content. So this is basically the content that will be displayed and you can select an icon. So this one is really fitting. This is a uh, uh, the google maps uh, pin obviously everyone would be familiar with this and then you can do the same with the others again you can add any item or remove any item by clicking the x sign now to be honest i think this is a bit too dark so i would change the color maybe go to style icon and as you can see i have color here so let's change this maybe to white and there you go i think it's a lot better and as you can see this one is services get in touch and so on so this one here is a menu so we have accounting services and you can link this to a page okay so basically you can add as many pages as you want so let's say if you want to add an about us page so let's click on this so about us okay now you go to your front end here go back to the top and as you can see this is the about us so right click on this and then copy link address go back here and paste it right there where the link is okay so Control v now if i click update Let's go back here now. Let's scroll down to the bottom and let's refresh. As you can see now, we have About Us. And if I click on this, it's going to bring uh, bring us to the About Us page. Okay, so this is how easily you can change your photo section. So we have the Get in Touch here. Again, this is some text. And this one here, we haven't discovered yet. So let's click on this. This one is Social Icons. Again, you can have, have as many as you want. You can add, delete same procedure and basically here the first one let's say would be facebook all you have to do is to select your logo and so on and so on then you can have the official colors so it's going to fetch the official uh, facebook colors or you can have your own colors as well so if you want it to be custom you can select the primary and secondary color so let's say if i want it to be white and the secondary in black all your logos might be all the same color. So this is really up to you. So let's say if I was to do this again with Twitter. So this one would be white and this one black. And then you can have a different feel all together here in the bottom. Okay. So let me change the other two very quickly then. And there you go. That looks fantastic, doesn't it? So the possibilities are limit, uh, literally endless. You know, it's really up to you. And uh, you can change everything you want and customize it the way you want using the styling feature here. 
Again, this one here, as you can see, the colors are not really uh, fine. Uh, so we could change this ourselves. You go to style again, icon, you can change the color, you know, so you can have it white and there you go. That looks a lot better. Now, as always, remember, don't forget to click update. Very important. So let's have a quick look now in the front end and let's refresh. And there you go. As you can see now, it's all black and white, which is a very rich feeling. But again, you can use your own company colors to fit your own branding, obviously, you know. OK, and then one last thing. Let's go to the contact page here. So as you can see, we have a request to quote form. So it could be a contact form, whatever. I'm going to show you how you can customize this and also uh, take care of the Google Maps uh, section here. So let's go back to our WordPress dashboard. Let's X out of this. Let's go back to our pages. And here, as you can see, over the contact page. So let's click on this, edit with Elementor. So I'm going to open this in a new tab for now. Very good. So as always, to change your details, all you have to do is to hover on each, on each section here, click on them and go and change the content. But we're going to take care of this section here. So if you click on this, as you can see, it's called WP Form. So this is why I opened this in a separate tab because we have to go back to our WordPress dashboard. So try to have both open maybe, you know. So we go back here and as you can see by the side, we have WP Forms. So let's click on this. Very good. So we have an inquiry form. So this is basically how this works. So this is a plugin that's being fetched here, WP Forms to create forms. And we can display that in our WordPress, in our uh, Elementor page, obviously, you know. So let's edit our inquiry form. And there it is. So again, this is a very easy uh, form uh, uh, form builder, uh, drag and drop again. As you can see, you have name, email address, form number, number of employees, number of invoices and so on. So maybe you don't need all of this. So you could delete this. OK, I want to delete that. I want to delete that one as well. I want to delete this too. There you go. All I want is a very simple form, name, email address, phone number, and perhaps maybe some text. OK, so let's see a paragraph text. So let's put this here at the bottom and let's give it a name. So if you click on the section itself, you can have this. OK, so your inquiry. OK, and here you can have a description as well. So type your inquiry here. OK, I will get back to you very soon. OK, something like this. There you go. And maybe you want that field to be required as well. OK, so let's click on this. Now let's click save. Now you want to make sure that uh, that uh, email was going to reach you, obviously, you know, so you go to settings now, notifications and make sure that you have admin email here or you can type in your email address immediately. That's up to you. OK, so you can type in hello at mrwebreviews.com and then save. And now you guarantee that this is going to reach you. So let's go back to our contact page here and let's refresh and let's scroll down now. And as you can see, now we have much simpler form, name, email, phone number and your inquiry. So this is basically how you can modify and customize your form. And if you scroll down the page, you can see we have a Google Map location here. So this might be handy if you have physical premises. If you don't want anyone to go and reach you, you might not need it. Uh, if you don't have physical premises, you might close this all together. Now, if you prefer to have it, you can show it again. And then I'm going to show you how you can change the, uh, the, the, the content here. OK, so all you have to do is to click on the, the small uh, pencil here. And all you have to do basically is to type your address here in the location box. OK, so I found one online, a random address in New York, you know. So there it is. If you were a 301 a West 43rd Street, New York, and if you wanted to, you can zoom in and zoom out. So the bigger the number, the more you zoom in and the smaller the number, the more, the more you zoom out. So let's zoom in here. So let's go to 12 maybe. And there you go. Now you're getting closer to your destination, obviously, you know. So let's go to 14, maybe. And there you go. This is maybe a bit easier. Now, depending on the type of model, you know, uh, feel free to uh, change those settings according to your preferences. And as always, don't forget to click update. And that's basically it. So let's go back to the contact page. Let's refresh. And there you go, guys. Now we have a new contact uh, page with a specific contact form, our inquiry form, and our own location right here. So there you go, guys. This is how you can build a beautiful website the easy way using Elementor Cloud. Now, as always, I leave all the link in the description below. These are affiliate links. So if you decide to purchase Elementor Cloud, uh, we'll earn a little something. It'd be, we'd be very grateful for that if you use that link. Thank you very much. And basically, that's all for now. So thanks for watching and we'll see you guys in the next video.